Morning everyone. Um, we're in the supply depot, which we're, we're changing around a bit. Um, the supply depot will move further down. So this uh, warehouse will become in this room here. I'm with Philippa here as well. Good morning. Um, so this room here will be Ladies Cross? Yeah, this is, um, the door should be arriving this week, um, which we had an amazing donation to do this work from mm, the Sant'Esigio community in uh, Livorno, in Italy. So they've been a huge help. So the thing is, we, we want a lady space where they can be their own person. Uh, we're lucky enough to actually have two lady spaces. So this one will be ladies' crafts. So anything from knitting to needlepoint to, yeah, all sorts. Oh, nice. Um, but the doors will be there, so they'll be they'll have a space of their own. The, the windows at the back are actually mirrored, so you can't see in. So they can go hijab free, space to gossip, space mm, to nice, talk, nice. space to relax. I just have to move some of the stuff. Okay. <laughs> and this room here, we're. This room here will be a complete uh, change. Again, we're going to get doors. So this end of the warehouse will be totally women only, which okay. is really important. Um, this space will be a ladies' salon. Now, this is a space where women can pamper each other, mm. you know, to, to do their hair, to paint their nails. Um, in no way professional. It's, it's really a, a, a space because they like to do each other's hair. And, and it's needed as well, a ladies' salon. Is, because yeah. we've had problems... Well, the thing is, the, the women getting their hair cut. Also, in <coughs> Mitalini and in other salons everywhere across, there's no um, space where they can go, which is private. So yeah. they need to take off their hijabs. And despite what people think, even though women wear hijabs and things, they're actually their hair is done perfectly underneath. They they need this space where they can pamper each other, really. Yeah. Nice one. And this it will be barber shop here. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's a small space, but um, again, the boys really the last thing people have control over is their person, and mm. this is like basically what the Hope Project is about: is that we we empower people, mm. we we give people back their self esteem, and it's not difficult. So we've got a few guys who are really good at cutting hair, and they want to cut each other's hair, so mm. they've got a space to do that now. Again, it's a little bit private, so it's a bit of a men's space. Okay. Uh, let me just put one thing in here. Uh, you know, when the when these are, are finished, you know, everything here is free, and it's not just for refugees. It's for local people as well. If they got no money and they need a haircut, they can come and get their haircut. But everything we do not charge for. Everything is totally free. Um, all the donations to build this is coming from charities. Charities. Yeah. And we are a charity ourselves, registered. Yeah, and it's gone yep. through the charity, so it's all accountable. So it's all accountable. It's all We've had a lot of gossips that we're charging for clothes and we're charging for this and charging for that. We do not. We have never done and we will never do. Everything we do is free. And we help a lot of Greek people as well here, uh, as well as refugees. You know, at Christmas we helped a lot of Greek children, locals. And every week we're helping poor Families. And actually, here we've just got, we're just organising some supplies um, that we want to actually do some bags for the kids to go back to school. Well, actually, this is for the Greek children. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, so there's a lot of kids. That so there's a lot of Greek supplies. families that are suffering, and we've always done for four years. We've we've helped families. We keep it quiet because Greek people are very proud. Um, but also to know that everyone who works here, nobody actually works. It, everyone is a volunteer including ourselves. This is not a big charity. We don't have salaries. We don't have CEOs. We rely on the volunteers. And mo the majority, 99.9%, .9 are from the refugee community. Again, it's about empowerment and self-esteem. Mm. Okay. So let's just get that straight. We do not charge for nothing. Everything is free. And the, all the warehouses, the art center, the clothes warehouse, and this one, is all open to everyone, local community as well as refugees, and they all can come and use it. And we don't uh, produce anything, mm. so it's not like we're, we're making things yeah. and stuff and selling them. We don't, this is basic mental health. Functions. Yeah, and all this is donations coming in, all of it. We get that straight, you know, because we have a lot of people gossiping and everything else. And this is rubbish. We have never sold anything. We would never charge refugees for anything. We would never charge anyone for anything, which is, you know. 
So the sure. last phase will be when we're just getting organised in here, actually. A lot of the clothes we get come from um, the UK, from Holland, from Germany. Um, most of them are way too big. Mm. You know, the, the guys that we deal with, especially the young men, yeah. are really tiny. Okay. So we have a couple of volunteers from the refugee community, both living in Moria, and they will adjust the jeans that they're getting for free. Mm. And so the boys can leave with their skinny jeans and they still have their dignity intact. Yeah. You know, there's nothing worse than being handed clothes that are too big and with the attitude that it's only for refugees. Yeah. You know, this is... But again, this space can be used by locals anyway. Of this course. Is, yeah, if they want course. to come, if you, do, if you don't have money to get your clothes adjusted, please, you know, it's not a problem. You can come and use this space also. You know, we focus here at the Hope Project on a, on a community project. This is supposed to be for yeah. the community. The community including refugees but also people who can't afford to get by mm. here and there's surprisingly still a great deal of people who don't have the money to, yeah. to do well we know that the amount of clothes we give every week to the local community and stuff so anyway okay so this is this project um you know i think that's enough on this yeah. this is good yeah. yeah okay okay oh why are uh, we on there I want to say a huge thank you to Care UK, okay. adding them on the end, because their 50th container has just left the UK yesterday. Okay. So, and we are desperately, although you see a lot of stuff in here, most of this is winter clothes. Um, we are desperately in need of kids' clothes mm. um, and men's clothes. Yes. And the container is on its way, so it should be with us in two or three weeks. So. Okay. And that's their 50th container, mm. and it was their one-year anniversary of their depot, so it was a big, huge party yesterday. Mm. But thanks to everyone at Care UK. Yeah, and thank you, a big thank you to Sandy Digio because you know if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be expanding this and uh, having all these little rooms for people to come in. Uh, so a big thank you yeah. to Sandy Digio. For yeah. sure. Yeah, 100% okay. on that. Okay, all the best, everyone. Bye.